Hi, I'm Derek Briggs, Product Manager for Sagami Rem Sales. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove, clean, and replace your subspinal collet sleeve on your Sagami machine. In order to get the collet out on the subspindle to clean out the chips and any kind of debris inside of there that gets collected over time running production, or just to change out your collet to a new job or setup and clean out the sleeve and everything in between jobs, I'm going to go ahead and take this subspindle collet nut off. And these wrenches come with the with the machine here in the red toolbox. You have a 55, 55 millimeter, and then you have a, a two pin spanner here. Right handed thread, turn it counterclockwise. Go ahead and take this off. That's my nut. I can then take out my collet. Now, depending on how long you've been running production, uh, there could be a lot of chips in there and things like that, so you may have to give it a little tap to break it free of the chips and debris. Uh, this is really clean right now because we're doing a demonstration, uh, but typically there's gonna be maybe some chips down in here, inside the collet, maybe inside of the slots, and obviously inside the, the sleeve as well. The next step is gonna to be to take the sleeve out of the spindle so we can get a good cleaning on that as well. We never wanna blow anything out here uh, with air into the spindle uh, in fear of getting chips and debris further inside the spindle. You don't want it to contaminate anything towards the back of the spindle and the toggle mechanism or, or bearings or anything like that. So you don't really wanna blow any air this way. Let's get the sleeve out. Take note of where the sleeve is located before you take it out. That way when you put it back in, you put it in the, the same way that it came out and it actually bottoms out directly the same way it was before. One other thing to note is this pin here. There's only one pin at 12 o'clock position right now. I always try to pull the sleeve out with that pin at 12 o'clock. There's a slot on the sleeve here. It goes all the way to the end. If you rotate this 180, there's another slot here that doesn't go all the way to the end, as you can see. This is just a balancing slot to compensate for the weight reduction on this side for the slot for the keyway. So all this is, is a weight reduction so and balancing. So the, the actual slot doesn't go all the way to the end of the uh, sleeve itself. So now that we have this out, we can take our sleeve out and we can clean this out outside the machine. We can spray it out, whatever we need to do, clean our spring and everything else and then we can go ahead and put everything back together. Make sure when you put this back together again, the slot that goes all the way to the end and breaks through is where you're gonna put up at 12 o'clock because that's where we left our pin. We're gonna go ahead, and, it's a nice slip fit, so just be gentle with it, nice and easy. And it slides all the way back to the way it was. Go ahead and insert our collet put our nut on and tighten it down. We can reset our collet tension if needed. If it's the same exact collet, you shouldn't have to reset your tension. Put your nut back on, tighten it down, and you should be good to run production again.